Hello, everybody, and welcome to our bilingual Croatian and English story time. I'm Miss Lauren from the Fairport Public Library. Hello, hello, dobro jutro, kako ste? Moje ime je Evica Jurisha. <laughs> Hi, Miss Eva, I'm so glad you're here today. <laughs> Hello, gospodična Lorin, kako ste ovoga jutra? <laughs> yes, so could we start with a hello song, Miss Eva? Yeah. Okay, and so I'm going to sing our regular hello song, okay? And if you want, you can wave. <laughs> okay. Hi, hi, how do you do? Hi, hi, how do you do? Hi, hi, how do you do? Time to read a book or two. <laughs> Miss Ava, I love your dance moves. <laughs> so I know, so I speak English, but I know you speak quite a few languages. What languages do you speak? A lot of them. Okay, my native language is Croatia. Then I were two years in German, so I hope that I'm speaking German. Then, after that, I moved to Venezuela, so I'm speaking Spanish. Now, I'm studying English. You speak a lot of languages, and I'm so <laughs> glad you're here. <laughs> Thank so, you so much. So, in that hello song, we kind of did a greeting. Could you tell us again how you might say hello or do a greeting in Croatian? Dobro jutro, kako ste vi? Nadam se da ste jako dobro. Wonderful, thank you. So, Miss Ava, you told me you had a song you wanted to sing to us in Croatian today. What was that song? The name is Da Tatini Prstici. Do you want me to sing? I would love for you to sing it. You could sing the whole thing through first and then we'll do it together, okay? Okay. Tata prstić, tata prstić, gdje si ti? Evo mene, evo mene, kako si mi ti? Mama prstić, mama prstić, gdje si ti? Evo mene, evo mene, kako si mi ti? Bratim prstić, bratim prstić, gdje si ti? Evo mene, evo mene, kako si mi ti? Sestrim prstić, sestrim prstim, gdje si ti? Evo mene, evo mene, kako si mi ti? Dječi prstić, dječi prstić, gdje si ti? Evo mene, evo mene, kako si mi ti? Yay! I love that song and I think that's one of my niece Frankie's favorite songs, actually. Yeah? Yes, uh, which is one of the reasons I wondered if you knew it. So it starts with daddy finger, right? Tatin prstić. Okay. Would you be okay if I sang the English and you do the Croatian? Tatin prstić. Okay. Daddy finger, daddy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Tatin prstić, tatin prstić, gdje si ti? Evo mene, evo mene, kako si mi ti? And next is mommy finger. Mommy finger, mommy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Mama prstić, mama prstić, gdje si ti? Evo mene, evo mene, kako si mi ti? All right, next is brother finger. Brother finger, brother finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Bratin prstić, bratin prstić, gdje si ti? Evo mene, evo mene, kako si mi ti? All right, next is sister finger. Sister finger, sister finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Sestrin prstić, sestrin prstić, gdje si ti? Evo mene, evo mene, kako si mi ti? 
All right, and Leah says baby finger. Baby finger, baby finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Dieci prsty, dieci prsty, dieci ty. Evo mene, evo mene, kako si mi ti. Oh, that was so wonderful, Miss Eva. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for singing that with me. Would you be okay if we read a book together? Yeah. All right, let me get our book up here so we can see it. Can you see our book? Okay. Okay, this book is called The Three Goats. To je kniga o tri koze. Wonderful, and it's by Leila Bakan. Let's go to the first page here. Three goats lived on a hill. Three koze su živile na brdu. The goats wanted to move on to a new hill for grazing. Sve koze su htjele da se presele na novo brdo za ispašu. But a water dragon lived under the bridge the goats needed to cross. Ali vodeni zmaj je živio ispod mosta preko kojeg su koze trebale proći. Oh my goodness. The water dragon protected the bridge. Vodeni zmaj je štitio most. The goats were of different sizes. Big, smaller, smallest. Koze su bile različitih veličina. Velika, manja i najmanja. The smallest goat was also the shortest goat. Najmanja koza je ujedno bila i najkraća. The goat in the middle was smaller than the biggest goat, but bigger than the smallest goat. Srednja koza je bila Manja od najveće, ali veća od najmanje. The biggest goat was also the tallest goat. This goat had the longest horns. Najveća koza je ujedno bila i najviša. Imala je najduže rogove. The smallest goat with the shortest horns went to cross the bridge. Najmanja koza sa najkraćim rogovima prolazila je preko mosta. The dragon stopped him to eat the goat. But the smallest goat said, I am the smallest, but a bigger goat is coming and would make a better meal. Vodeni zmaj se paro da pojede tu kozu, ali ona mu je rekla, Ja sam najmanja koza, ali iza mene ide jedna veća i ona je bolji zalugaj za tebe. So, the dragon let the smallest goat cross the bridge. Tako da je zmaj pustio da prođe preko mosta. The middle goat came upon the dragon and the dragon said, I am going to eat you. Srednja koza je prišla zmaju i zmaj joj kaže, ja ću tebe pojesti. Here it's coming. Oh, middle goat explained, the biggest, tallest goat is following me and would be the largest meal you would have. Srednja koza odgovori zmaju, najveća sa najdužim rogovima dolazi iza mene i ona će biti za tebe najbolji zalogaj. So, the dragon let the smaller goat pass and waited for the largest goat. Tako da zmaj pusti srednju i počeka na najveću kozu. The dragon tells the largest goat, you are my meal. I have let smaller goats pass, but I will eat you. Zmaj kaže najvećoj kozi, 
ti si moj obrok. Ja sam pustio manju da prođe, ali tebe ću pojesti. The largest goat says, I am the largest, tallest goat with the biggest horns. Then he runs at the dragon. Najveća koža mu odgovori, ja sam najveća koža, koza s najvećim rogovima. I onda skoči na zmaja. The largest goat knocks the dragon off the bridge. Najveća koza baci zmaja preko mosta. Then all three goats, the smallest, the larger, and largest, enjoy grazing on the hill. Zatim sve tri koze, najmanja, srednja i najveća, uživale u ispašu na brdu. Things to think about. Do not be greedy. The dragon missed two meals to greed. And use your mind when you do not have the strength. Two goats pass with just words. Mislite malo o toj poruci. Nemojte biti pohlepni. Zmaj je promašio dva obroka zbog pohlepe. Upotrijebite svoju pamet kad nemate snage. Dvije koze su prošle samo sa riječima. Oh my goodness, that was so fun! Thank you for sharing that book with me! <laughs> Thank to you! So, you know, Miss Ava, that reminds me of a game I have. Would you like to play it? Yeah, I would like it. Do you see what kind of animal is part of my game? Do you know what that is? Koza. Oh, yes, it's a goat, a koza. Yeah, koza. And actually, this goat, this koza, is going to hide in one of our barns. So before the goat hides, could you help me by telling me um, the colors of each of these barns in Croatian? So this is a red barn in English. How do you say in Croatian? Crvena kuća. Okay. And this is a purple barn. How do you say that in Croatian? Modra kuća. Modra kuća. And friends at home, you can say these words too. So it's crvena kuća. Crvena kuća. Modra kuća. Modra kuća. That's purple barn. What about green barn? Zelena kuća. Zelena kuća. And brown barn. Smeđa kuća. Smeđa kuća. All right, I think we're ready to play, okay? So Miss Ava and my friends at home, can you close your eyes and count to four? And maybe uh, we'll let this little goat hide. Miss Ava, could you count to four out loud for us in Croatian? One, two, three, four. Jedan, dva, tri, četiri. Wonderful, thank you. Okay, our koza is hiding. So I'm thinking maybe I can say the rhyme in English and you can say it in Croatian. So Correct. which one should we check first, Miss Ava? What do you think? Četvrta kuća. Smeđa kuća. No, smeđa kuća. Is that, which color is it, this one? Oh, oh my goodness, I'm learning Croatian with you. So that means brown barns. Is it, say it again, smeđa kuća? Smeđa kuća. Okay, all right, so here's our rhyme in English. Goat, goat, where can you be? Are you in the brown barn? Let's check and see. Kozo, kozo, gdje si ti? Da li si se sakrila u smeđoj kućici? All right, one, two, three. Jedan, dva i tri. Ah, no goat. <laughs> Nema koze. Oh, let's try another one. Which color should we try next? Zelena kuća. Zelena kuća. Is that red barn? No, it's this one. This one? Oh, Zelena kuća. Zelena kuća. That is green barn. All right. You ready for our rhyme? Yeah. Goat, goat, where can you be? 
Are you in the green barn? Let's check and see. Kozo, kozo, gde si ti? Da si se sakrila u zelenoj kućici? One, two, three. Jedan, dva, tri. Let's see. <gasps> Look at there's our goat! A kuisa! Našli smo ju, našu kozu. Našli smo našu kozu. Wonderful! That was so much fun, Miss Ava. Thank you for playing that game with me. <laughs> So actually, I think uh, even though we've had a lot of fun, I think it's time for us to say goodbye. Um, do you think you could teach us how to say goodbye in Croatian? Yes, I can say. Doviđenja svima zajedno. Doviđenja svima zajedno. Zima zajedno. svima zajedno. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you for coming to our bilingual story time. We hope to see you again soon. Yay.